Hey everybody, so what's going on? Um, I'm back for another video. I, I've been busy with school, so it's been really cool. Um, I've been busy with school, got some new ink right here. The fairy tale symbol I've been wanting for a long time. It's kind of cool. Can you see that there? That's kind of cool. And I got the cross on my hand right there. So it's on a flake, so it's really cool. Anyways, besides that, I really want to tell you some something awesome news. Um, really excited to tell you. If you're excited like me, then you're excited for Ruby Volume 7. Ruby Volume 7. Yes, Ruby Volume 7 is coming out next month. And I am very, very, very excited for it because... I love Ruby. Okay, I am a huge fan of Ruby. I've been a fan of Ruby for quite some time, actually. I remember when it first came out, so that was really cool. And I'm very excited to... to ver I'm very excited, honestly. And it makes me happy that Monty Oma would have been proud because... If you look at it, he did... He made a show, and I want to say that it's very exciting for Ruby to continue to Volume Seven. And as much as I, as I had to say, it makes me happy. So, Ruby Volume Seven is finally coming out November fourth, um, next month of this year. It's gonna be exciting. Cannot wait. After what happened in the sixth season, uh, this oh. At the 13th episode of Volume 6. It was perfect ending. I really have to say. It was a good ending. And a cliffhanger for Ruby. Was absolutely perfect. What makes me happy on this. Is the fact that. With Volume 7 going on. That means we're, we're in for quite a surprise honestly. It makes me happy. Um, what makes me happy is that. With. Ruby Volume 7, we actually will get more in depth with the story because Weiss is returning home, which we knew about that. And for those who have not seen the series, this is kind of a spoiler warning for you, so I wouldn't really watch it. But here's the thing in season 6, season 4, 5, and 6, it started getting amazing because Beacon fell, Cinder died which oh my god I hope I hope she dies finally but but she's not and what makes me happy is the fact that in all three seasons five four five and six we got so much in depth of the story we got Liza Ospos telling us we got new things that really shocked me and honestly it freaking blew my mind and and what makes me so what makes me really excited is that fact that is that one thing I'm truly really excited for is the fact that is that there seems to be quite a bit of lots of stuff that Ruby has had and and mostly when when you think about it first of all. I'm blown away that in season six we had Cinder survive. We had new things that we didn't have in, in any other season. We actually finally realized Ospin's lies and the truth about what he really is and why he's been lying. And then we got Jin, who's the genie. I would say genie, or she's she, she's like a spiritual being, something along the lines that. I would say something like that. I don't know what she is because they, in the series they actually don't say what she really truly is. So honestly, it, it, it blows my mind. But I'm very excited to tell you that Volume 7 will be appearing November 4th, uh, 2019. So it's going to be on RoosterTV.com and you can check that out on RoosterTV.com. You can watch all, you can watch Season 6, you can watch Season 6 on roosterteeth.com to keep up with everything. But I'm mostly happy that 
what makes me happy is that we're getting into it a lot more. And since Beacon fell, all the everybody disbanded. But Ruby, Wise, Blake, and Ying are back together. The girls are back together. Then you have uh, Jean, Nora, and then you have <laughs> and you have Ren, and then you have uh, Crow, and you have uh, Ma Maria, who is one of the coolest characters. We're getting into a lot of good things. Plus. It's just absolute, absolutely amazing to see new new story develop, new characters, new villains, and the return of Neo was actually really cool. I'm actually glad they returned her because for not being a character that usually talks, Neo is actually really kind of one of my favorite villains. I really say she is because she's kind of mysterious, but she's she's mysterious, and I think that's what I like about her. But I'm very excited to say Volume 7 of Ruby looks lo looks amazing. And from from the hype that I've been seeing, it looks good. I can't wait. And I'm so happy. So what do you think? Do you think Ruby Volume 7 will be good? Do you think it'll be bad? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below. Because I really want to hear your opinion on this on this topic. So anyways, that's all I have time for. Hit that bell, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and also keep up with videos. I will be posting videos much as I can. School's around, so yeah. Anyways, I'm out. Peace, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Catch you later. Peace out.